So just finished up 20 minutes of sprint interval training cardio. So sprint interval training or SIT is actually a relatively new form of cardio uh, that's just been tested in the research and has shown really promising results. So I'll put up the abstract um, to the study on the screen now. Um, and basically what the researchers showed was that sprint interval training was just as effective for dropping body weight and improving fitness or VO2 max uh, compared to your standard traditional steady state cardio uh, as well as uh, high intensity interval training cardio or HIT. Uh, but the sprint interval training was just far more time efficient. I'll put up the graphs uh, from that study <clears throat> You can actually see that the trajectory in weight loss and the improvements in VO2 max are actually really, really similar uh, between the steady state cardio, the, the HIT, and the sprint interval training. But the really cool thing uh, about this study is that uh, basically, and, and I'll show the, the results table on the screen now, you can see that the sprint interval training only took 20 minutes, but the steady state cardio and the HIT cardio that actually took an hour. So what that's basically telling us is that with sprint interval training, you can get all the weight loss benefits, you can get all the fitness benefits, but you get it in a third of the time. Right, so I'm gonna get changed. And then we're gonna go some breakfast. All right, so we've got breakfast going down here at Cocola. Uh, don't call it cockalot like I did the first time I came here. So I've got the uh, big brekkie here. Um, I've got some salmon, a bit of bacon, shortcut bacon, so it's low fat, a bit of scrambled eggs, small bit of toast, and some veggies. And then we're going down with the um, creme fraiche strawberry pancakes. I just got a coffee here. Now I'm estimating the macros for this meal, um, and I've estimated it as 55 protein, 40 fat, and 125 grams of carbs. Now that might seem high, and it might be a little bit of an overestimation, but that's okay, because when I do go out to eat at restaurants and I'm estimating the calories and the macros, I'd much prefer to overestimate um, uh, my, my calories and macros, especially in a fat loss phase. Um, I'd much rather overestimate, as opposed to sort of underestimate and risk sort of unknowingly blowing your calorie and macro target. Okay, so breakfast is down the hatch. Um, thought I'd just give you a little update on how things were tracking with the cut and whatnot. So this is the completion of the last week uh, of my 12 week cut. It's actually the last workout um, of my cut. Uh, tomorrow starts my week of complete rest from the gym. Uh, I'm gonna take seven days, of completely no training. Um, just doing that for a few reasons. Um, number one, I've been progressively increasing training volume over sort of the last eight weeks, and the body's just starting to notice that little bit of um, fatigue build up uh, and whatnot, and the body doesn't feel as fresh, fresh as it normally does. Um, so instead of taking a deload, uh, which would, I guess, be normal practice, I've just decided, hey, I'll, I'll take um, a full week off and, and just let my body get as fresh as it possibly can. Uh, during that week, I'm also going to, uh, because my cut's over, just take a week off uh, macro and calorie tracking. So I'm still gonna eyeball um, sort of portion sizes and I'm, I'm not gonna eat like a dickhead, um, but I'm just gonna be eating enough so that I'm no longer in a deficit, making sure I'm getting four meals per day, roughly 50 grams um, of protein per day. Um, sorry, per meal and 100 grams of carbs per meal. And apart from that, I'm gonna be quite loose with it. Just make sure that I'm no longer in the deficit um, and just give myself a little bit of a, a, a mental rest from having to pull out my fitness pal um, four or five uh, times a day. So, um, like I said, this is the last workout of my cut. It's gonna be really high volume. Um, we're gonna hit a future trunk style uh, chest workout and I will chuck the full workout description um, in the description box below. Um, we just had a bunch of carbs at breakfast, um, roughly like 30% of my daily carbs. So 
we should be able to get a really nice pump. Uh, I should have plenty of juice in the in the tank to be able to get a really good workout in. So Cody's gonna hit you with a sick edit in the gym in three, two, one. Goku. Son Goku. Future trunks chest workout is a wrap. Uh, 30 sets done and dusted. Chest feels pretty annihilated. I'm ready for a week in the rejuvenation chamber with a bunch of Senzu beans. So I'll put the full um, exercise sets and reps in the description box. So for anyone who's keen to give uh, the trunks chest workout a crack, uh, you can give it a go. Um, if you do give it a go, let me know what you think. Um, once again, if you enjoy the YouTube video, please let me know in the comments uh, and subscribe. Um, if there's anything uh, you want to see in future episodes, drop comments. Let me know. Peace.